Hello everybody and welcome back to Icarus. Today we have a lot of chores on our list, so let's get started. We left off last time we were upgrading all of our tools. We have our metal tools all set up. Got a nice longbow. And we were going to be working on leveling up. Trying to get to level 15 so we can make some flint arrows. And I think, um, you know, my, my ultimate goal for this series is eventually to make it to Prometheus and complete all of the missions there. So my thought is maybe once I reach tier 3, that will be good enough and we'll just jump straight into Prometheus once we hit level 20 basically. So. Until we reach that point, I'm just going to be going around on Olympus here, leveling up our brand new character, and just enjoying the peace and tranquility of Olympus while we can. You know, the difficulty of Prometheus is mainly that um, all of the resources are locked to specific biomes. So progressing in, in Olympus is a lot smoother than it would be on Prometheus because you know you have access to platinum and titanium pretty much straight out of the gate. Just in those first caves that I explored I found platinum and titanium. So compared to Prometheus where we're gonna have to move into the Arctic biome um, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot easier to progress on an Olympus or Styx playthrough than it would be on, on Prometheus. So, for now, I think what I want to do is craft up the Orbital Exchange interface. Um, and that way we can start doing some simple missions. Or rather, the contact device, not the Orbital Exchange interface. So we want this. Our next level we'll grab this and then we'll start doing some simple missions to get more experience I think. Um, we have this wood crop plot so we have access to farming missions if those appear. We have a longbow which if we had flint arrows things would be a little bit easier for extermination missions but for now we're gonna have to make do with with what we have so. Let's just deposit our resources here. Anything that we don't need. These tea leaves we definitely do not need right now. These iron bars, let's just stick them in here. And let's try and reach level 11. So first order of business. What do we do to reach level 11? Well, I'm short on oxide, so I definitely want to go on a little oxide search here. So, I'll get back to you guys once we've found a bunch of oxide. And just like that, we are level 11. Let's finish mining this node, I think. Uh, we're going to be a little overweight, but I think we're pretty close to the base, so. I'm going to bring this back to the base, and we'll take a look at our tech tree. Man, you move slow without the encumbrance perk. Okay. We've made it back to the base now. We have four blueprint points to spend. Let's turn this fire off for now. Actually, I think I'll just let that keep cooking. But let's just stick this oxide in here, our sulfur that we can fit in there, and then the rest of it just stick in this box here. Okay, so tech tree. We want the contact device. Now, I'm not exactly sure which missions are going to drop straight out of the gate, so I think I'll hang on to these three points and see if we need to research anything in order to complete our next mission. So. I'm going to craft up the contact device. Okay, 8 rope, 15 ingots, and 10 wood, and we can get this crafted up. Let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, and let's see what missions we have here. Deploy this. Just on our roof for now. Okay. Simple quest. Downed drone and collection. So collection is actually pretty simple to do um, if you have a good movement speed because you can pretty much outrun the bears if they spawn on you. It can be very dangerous because basically what, what this quest is is there's going to be four dead bodies on the ground that you have to find but there's going to be bears all around. So maybe we just we give this a shot and see how it goes. It's over there. So there's going to be bears all over the place and a bunch of dead bodies for us to find. Um, I don't think there's really much, really anything else I can do to prepare here. I can just refresh my food buffs, I guess. And if worse comes to worse, we're just going to run out of there. So let's head on over. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at our talents. Let's see here. I have plyometrics. That's going to be very useful. Movement speed. I have basically all the basic stamina buffs. As for solo points, we don't have any of those currently. So I think we could start working towards the next stamina boost, but uh, I think I'll do that over here, actually. Let's work towards this. So I'll do this. And then this, we'll get three points into this. I really want that next solo point, because especially on this mission, this is going to be vital. So the mission will be much more difficult without knowing where the bears are. But let's just head over there and see how it goes. There's a bear right there. So we're approaching the mission area. I think that's a mission bear. That should be, yeah. So the bears that are active from missions are much more aggressive than normal animals would be. They seem to be a lot more perceptive. So we're going to have to be very careful here. See how fast they run? <laughs> that is a scary, scary sight to see come barreling towards you when you find one of those bodies. So To complete this mission, you have to kind of keep an ear out for a sort of static walkie-talkie sound. I hear a bear. Keep an ear out for bears and for the static walkie-talkie sound. And if you can collect all of the bodies without getting eaten alive by bears, we're going to sprint away from this guy. Fortunately, we have our plyometrics and our speed boost, so we can pretty much outrun the bears. Um, but we definitely cannot fight all of the bears that are here. There's so many bears. He's still aggro on me, so I'm going to take this opportunity to run away. He's so fast. We are fast enough to outrun a bear with all of our movement speed buffs. Which is why I recommend you know, when you first launch into the game, getting this Mass Dampener module, plus the boost from the cloth armor, plus the 10% boost from the tech tree, from the skill point tree, you're going to be able to outrun a bear like that, so... That's one of the main reasons I recommend doing all that. Movement speed is a huge benefit when you're doing dangerous missions such as this, um, where running away is an option. Running away is not always an option, so... <laughs> This is kind of a nice starter mission. So let's get back into the mission zone and see if we can't find any of those bodies. Man, there are so many bears in this area. I have not found a single one of those bodies yet. This may have been a mistake for a first mission, but we're committed at this point, so keep walking around see what we can do. So here's our drop pod. 
once we get all of the four radio devices, we stick them in here and the mission is done. Okay, I can hear the radio sound, so we're close to a body. And there he is. So there's one. We just need three more of those. Oh, I see another one right next to that Tyrannus over there. I'm gonna run away from this bear. There's another bear right there. <laughs> but we at least know where the next body is. So on our way back to that other body, I hear the signal from another one right here, yes. Okay, there's two. So we know where the third one is. Right over here. Oh, this is the fourth one, I believe. Well, that might have been the one that I saw earlier. Oh, the bear saw us. We're going to go ahead and sprint away. Got stuck on a tree there, which is not good. We just need one more device, and we are good. As you're walking around here, you don't want to be careless with your stamina. You want to walk when you can walk. Let's go ahead and just get our buffs up. If worse comes to worse, we'll also have some food there to heal. And we have our suture kits and bandages ready to go as well. So Let's search for that last body. Scratched up there. Fortunately, we didn't get an injury. But that did a good chunk of damage. Let's head back there. This mission is taking a little bit of time, but I think I'm slowly starting to circle in on where the body could be, so let's get back in there. I hear the last body. There it is. Okay. With that, our mission is complete. Except a bear just spotted us, so <laughs> we're going to run away one last time. And head back to the drop pod once we're sure that we're safe. Okay, I think we lost that bear. Drop pod is just right over here. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe if we kind of cheese some of these bears, that would be a great way to level up. That would be a lot of experience. These bears are just frequently spawning. It would take a ton of arrows. I'm not even sure 38 would be enough to kill one bear. But maybe let's just test that out. I'm going to craft up a few more arrows and see what we can do in terms of fighting one of these things. So I think I should be safe on top of this rock if I draw a bear's attention. I can 
get on top of this rock and snipe it from here. So let's craft a bunch of arrows. 30 more arrows. And that should definitely be enough for at least one bear. So, let's draw one of them out and hope we can make it onto this rock in one clean jump. Because if we don't, we're in big trouble. Let's give it a shot here. thousand nine hundred experience just like that okay so we have more than enough arrows I think we maybe grind out a few more of these bears I'm not sure if these bears have like an aggro radius where they'll only chase me so far before going back to their sort of set roaming path. Let's see what we can do here. Head back to our rock. Okay. Still coming. A little bit of a scary jump. All right, 4,900 experience. Got some T-bone steaks off of that guy. We've spent about half of the durability of our bow fighting those bears. Let's see if we can maybe grab one more. Ah. There's another bear. I think we might have lost the aggro. Oh. Okay, we did not lose the aggro. Let's get up on our rock here. Okay, we made the jump. That's always the scariest part right there. Looks like we have a second bear here. Might as well take them both out. If he wants to cooperate here. Okay, one down. Looks like our bow is broken. We still have some durability left on this bear here. He should be pretty low. Uh, maybe what I do... I don't have enough sticks. I think I'm going to have to go in the hard way here. Let's wait for him to attack, and then... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we got him. Just like that, we got a ton of meat, and a ton of bones, and a good amount of experience points as well. And then completing the mission itself will also give us quite a bit of experience. So let's go complete this mission. The four of those in there. crates. Yeah, I mean, 50 ores, 20, 250 oxide, some platinum. Don't, don't need that as much as we need these storage boxes. So let's 
grab that. That'll be nice. Oh, and we did level up. I guess we hadn't received the experience, but that was 13,000 experience. Or was it 130,000? I didn't quite catch the number of zeros there, but it seemed like it was much more than... You know, we killed three bears, which is like 12,000 experience. Um, our bow is broken, so we can't really do any hunting. But yeah, that was a nice, quick little mission. Let's go back to our base, repair our items, and set up those new storage crates. That'll be very nice. Okay, home sweet home. Let's take a look at these storage crates here. Definitely want to get this nice big wooden cupboard down. Maybe we just put that right here. This is very nice. And then we have two more medium crates. So I think it should be the same inventory capacity as these. Let's just take a look. Yeah, same inventory capacity, but we got two of them for free. I think, yeah, we can stack them nicely like this. I don't know if they'll take storm damage the way that these crates did when they were stacked, but for now our storage is taken care of. Got plenty of meat. Let's get these T-bones cooking. Let me eat this. Eat this. And a berry. Let's take the rest of this into storage for now. Our seeds in here. And let's do a little bit of reorganizing as well. All right. Um, we need a bone to repair that. Uh, our wood is in here. Let's stick some bone and wood in here for repairs. Beautiful. So let's look at our um, talents here. We were going to max out our stamina, and we did get a solo point. I can't quite select this yet. Yes, we need more investment. We need three more points invested before we can do that. For now, I think I'm going to go movement speed. get even more of a movement speed buff, and then let's check our missions again here. So the crazed creature, if I had flint arrows, I would have no problem accepting that. But I think maybe we do this. I'm not sure if I've ever done a abandoned base quest before, so... Let's test this out and see what it's like. Ah. I already know what this is going to be. Deploy a beacon means defend off waves of enemies. Oh no, this is a normal beacon. Okay. Find the abandoned base. So a radar would attract creatures, but a beacon would not. Oh, we have a beehive spawn right next to our base. So I guess these spawn. Nice. Let's grab that. That was definitely was not there before, so... It seems like beehives spawn the way that creatures spawn. Let's head over to that base location and see what's over there. I see. Defend and repair. So this may be more than I was bargaining for. I only have 23 arrows. Definitely going to want to crack up more of those. I haven't repaired my knife. Let's craft some arrows, repair our knife, and come back here once we're a little bit more prepared. 
Oh, I just saw the number of building pieces go down to 26, so I think they're actually already attacking that base, so... Let's quickly repair this knife and head back over there as soon as we can. That is a bear cub. I these bear cubs are tiny. But this means normal bears are gonna be coming. Might be in trouble here. Oh, that is just perfect. This thatch structure is about to take severe damage from this storm, <laughs> making my job much more difficult. Maybe we can beat the storm if I'm fast enough here. Okay, place the beacon. Inside the base. Okay. And that was it. That was, that was the quest. Okay. So we were able to do this before the storm came. That was very fortunate. Let's grab our reward and get out of here. Grab the advanced textiles bench. It's gonna save us a lot of time. I just got smashed by a tree. This is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Let's get some of this in here. This tree. Trees are falling all over the place. We are in dire straits. Let's heal quickly here. Our wound. I have a contusion, which means we move slower. In the middle of the storm, trees are falling everywhere. This is chaos. My base is taking severe damage right now. We need to get home as quickly as we can. We need to hurry. Okay. We've made it home just as we start to take storm damage. Alright. We need to start repairing ASAP. This chest on the top is indeed taking damage, so it's not considered sheltered. Let's just remove that for now. Everything else seems to be doing fine. Wow. That was a very dangerous situation that we ended up <laughs> in at the end there. Um, but hey, we got an advanced textiles bench, which we have not even researched yet. That is quite nice for our progress. I hadn't even crafted a regular textiles bench yet, so this is an excellent find from that mission. Yeah, I'm just going to repair my way through this storm, and I will see you guys once things have blown over. It seems that the worst of the storm has passed. We're approaching the tail end of it. We'll still have to do a little bit of repairs here and there, but I think we are in the clear for now. So that reward gave us also five platinum weave, which is quite nice. Additionally, we can start crafting ropes out of our leather here. Might as well just craft up all of those into ropes. We're going to need them. And in addition to just having ropes on hand, that'll also start giving us some experience. So you can see we're just getting 46 every time one of these crafts. That was a very nice find from that mission. I'm glad we did that one. So after getting that beehive, we also have six honeycomb now. 
So still not enough to craft a beehive quite yet. But one more of those, one or two more, and we will be able to have the honeycomb to craft a beehive. Let's take a look at our tech tree here. I don't believe... Yes, we cannot do the lantern yet. I definitely want to do that when we can. For now, we'll hold off on that. The herbalism bench. We could start working on some health enhancement tonics. Wooden cupboards are always useful. The masonry bench is also level 15, so we can't even think about crafting stone structures until that. Um, so the advanced textiles bench yes, is a tier 3 item. So we got a level 20 item from that quest without even being level 15 yet. So that was very nice. And with that said, I think we can just continue leveling through the simple quest system and hoping to get some more good rewards like that advanced textiles bench. It'll help with our progress significantly. And that was considered an easy quest as well. So you'd think that the rewards from the medium quest would be better, but we just got three storage crates from the medium quest, and we got an advanced textiles bench from the hard quest. So, luck of the draw, I suppose, but that certainly was quite lucky. We have all of our normal meat in here. Let's go ahead and start crafting up some more normal meat. Maybe six of them, nine of them, I guess. Get that cooking. Let's take a look at our quests again. Mining and a crazed creature hard mode. Neither of those sound very appealing, because mining is usually quite a bit of a specific ore. We don't have the ability to gather platinum, or titanium, or aluminum yet, because we do not have the steel tools. But maybe that is what we do next, is steel tools. Ah, level 20. <laughs> so we probably can't even complete that quest if it requires something that we can't yet gather. I wonder, can you abandon simple quests? If we don't have the ability to do this. The crazed creature level hard mode is certainly doable if we employ a kind of cheap strategy like we did with those bears before, but... It's also quite risky. We'll probably have to craft at least one backup longbow and maybe even a backup basic bow and a ton of arrows. But if you craft some pillars and stand on top of a stack of two pillars, the animal cannot reach you. So you're, you're basically out of harm's way and you can shoot down on him from above. But right now, I'm just trying to reach level 13. Let's mine all of this rock. Hit level 13, and then see what we can do. Okay, level 13. Another option for that mission is bone arrows, of course. But bone arrows always seem kind of like a waste to me because I want to save as many bones as I can to make epoxy, which requires crushed bone. For now, there really aren't that many things that I need that I can even craft quite yet. The iron sickle would be nice. Let's grab the iron sickle, craft that, and see where that leaves us in terms of resources. The iron sickle is also very nice because it only requires wood to repair it. So upkeep on this item also, as you can see, one wood to repair it. Upkeep on that item is also very cheap. It's significantly more useful than 
the normal bone sickle. So I do think it's worth grabbing. Okay, so I decided to craft up 50 more stone arrows, which will put us at 100. And I crafted a spare longbow, and I grabbed my backup wooden bow. So with these three bows, I do think we should have enough durability to go through maybe 100 arrows. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I think... We have a good shot of doing it if we employ the strategy where we use um, pillars to keep ourselves safe. So I'm going to craft up some pillars as well here. I'm going to make six pillars, so I'll have three spots that I can fall back to if he ends up breaking one of my pillars. Okay, so I have my pillars. Let's put these in our inventory, and I'll show you what I mean. So you put the pillars on the slanted beam mode and try and get them to line up you could do it like that i don't really like doing it like that i like it straight like that you get up on top of here you go into st um, stealth mode which like minecraft prevents you from falling off and you go up here and snipe down on the enemy with your bow and as he damages if he ends up damaging the bottom pillar you can use your hammer to repair it but it's nice to have a backup pillar to fall back to if you need to retreat. So, I'm going to repair my knife here. Let's just put some of this iron in the, for in the anvil. Repair our knife. Might as well repair this while we're here. And then we'll get our bows set up here. So we have our two longbows, our wooden bow, and our hammer, all ready to go. Maybe we put our hammer in slot two, just for easier access. We'll repair the hammer too. We have our healing items. If we get hit by the apex animals, probably going to require a suture kit. And we have our pillars. So, let's grab one more meat here. That's another thing that we can do. Plus 30 health when consumed. We'll have a stack of meat to heal us if we need it as well. I think that's about all the preparation that we can do. Maybe just in case we bring um, a little bit of stone, uh, fiber, and sticks. We'll be able to make 23 more arrows. 73 more, well, 50 more I believe because we have 50 sticks. 73. Never mind. We have more sticks than I thought. So we can back craft some more arrows if worse comes to worse. But let's go ahead and give this mission a shot. Oh, wow. That spawns so far away. I think that's in the Arctic biome. Where is this? <laughs> I'm not sure where that... Is this? Is this where we need to go? This pin? Ah, uh, okay. So that pin was that beacon that I placed. So the beacon is still here. Let's just take that beacon. And... It does seem like the epic creature spawned in the arctic biome so usually these quests happen much closer to your base i'm not sure why that one decided to spawn so far away oh we have another beehive here very nice grab that and we do have the 10 honeycomb so we can craft a beehive now so let's abandon this quest we have a penalty timer of 600 seconds, which is unfortunate. But I am definitely not prepared to go into the Arctic biome yet with my measly fiber armor. And since we do have this beacon from that simple quest, might as well 
make a nice little home beacon here. We'll make it blue. And we have our home beacon all set up. And that'll permanently be on our map. Make things a little bit easier. Not that it's too difficult to find this lake on the map, but might as well have it. So we also still have a talent point remaining. I think this over encumbrance penalty is also extremely nice to have. I think that's probably what I work toward next. Yeah, we'll work towards getting this maxed out. That allows you to walk basically at this speed while sprinting if you're over encumbered. So it's very nice to have. So while we wait out that timer, I think I'm gonna go hit another cave, see if we can get some more iron and maybe coal. head back to our base with a little bit of a boost in resources stockpiled. So I'll see you guys over at the cave. Um, I do remember where a lot of these caves are because this is an area of the map that I've played quite a bit. So head over to that cave and I'll see you back in a little bit. All right, we've arrived at the cave. There's gonna be a few worms popping up. So let's get our bow ready. right here. So you can tell where the worms spawn by these little rocks in the ground. And let's grab up some of this iron. Oh, we have a lightning storm. Oh, that lightning storm is rolling in. Let's just start mining up this iron. Okay, we made it back. Ah, uh, I also, yes, our base potentially could have been struck by lightning and uh, burned to the ground in that storm, so we were very fortunate that that did not happen. We did take some damage, but could have been much worse. So let's count our blessings there. We'll pair all this up, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay. Seems like everything was repaired. Let's get this iron cooking up. Um, I am going to need to think about making steel pretty soon as well. So maybe we don't do that. We just let that cook up and turn the rest of this into steel, perhaps. We do not have a mortar and pestle yet. I forgot that we haven't done that. So... I'm going to get some silica and craft up that mortar and pestle. We can one-shot deer now, by the way. And there's a level up. 
one more level and we will have flint arrows, which will be a huge boost to our offense. So let's keep this going. I got the silica that I needed. I need some stone as well. So let's grab that, craft this. There we go. Mortar and pestle. Might as well stick this meat on there. Put everything that we don't need in this box. Um, let's turn 200 of our iron into steel. Was steel? Wait. I might be getting ahead of myself. Oh, steel is level 20. So we have a while before <laughs> we're going to have any use for that. Let's just hang on to that ore for now. Let's smelt up another... Smelt up another 150 of this iron, I guess. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll just stick our mortar and pestle on the ground. We don't really need it. What I do want to do is check on our missions. So we can select another one. Hunt and hidden cache. The hunt ones can be a little annoying. You have to kill something around 20 of a specific creature. The game does spawn a lot of them in a specific area, and then you head to that area and kill them, but it takes a lot of time. If I had flint arrows, maybe I would do this, but, you know, it could be something like cougars or even bears, if this is a hard one. Sometimes it's easy, like rabbits, but I feel like in this case it's probably going to be something annoying, like kill 20 bears or something like that, since it's hard. But... Let's try this hidden cache. Find a cache within an area left behind another prospector. It's an easy quest. Hopefully it's in our biome. Okay. And let's go see what that's all about. I have 90 seconds on this pneumonia, so I'm going to do a little bit of stuff around the base until that's gone, and then we'll head over there. And so what I am going to do also is grab honeycomb products and the beehive, since we do have the materials to craft the beehive. Let's go ahead and craft that up as well. So we're going to need 26 copper nails. 30... Ah! Ah. <laughs> we need the carpenter's bench. Can I research the carpenter's bench? Level 15. Okay. So we can't make honey until level 15 either. So we will go on our way to this quest. And I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so I see... Ah! No, I remember what this is. This is a defense mission. So I do have my pillars, and I have... Maybe it's not a defense mission. Maybe I just get free steel and platinum, and... That is literally the entire quest, and that is amazing. <laughs> These quests are great! Wow. A ton of experience, a ton of free resources. Beautiful. That was indeed a very easy mission, and we got a steel pick out of that. So that means if we get a mining mission that requires us to gather aluminum or platinum or titanium, we can actually do that now as well. Let's head back to our base with our loot and strategize from there. Okay, we'll put our steel pick and steel hammer in here for now since we can't really use them quite yet as well as that platinum but again very nice free resources free tools we love to see it um, but for now let's check on what other simple quests we can do i feel like this is a great way to level up a great way to get some resources okay so we have a simple and easy hunt mission and we have a hard base repair mission. So the base repair mission, I'm not sure I want to do a hard version of that, but a simple hunt, that's probably going to be rabbits or deer or something like that. So a hard abandoned base mission is probably a little bit out of our league right now. We don't even have flint arrows. I'm imagining this means wolves or cougars or something is going to attack the base while we defend it. So... Maybe we hold off on that. We'll try this easy hunting mission. 
This will probably be something like rabbits or deer. Something simple. So let's see what this is all about. Eight rabbits. Okay. So that is very easy indeed. Rabbits you can chase down with your knife. So let's head over to that spot. Kill some rabbits. So we found. That's a deer. So we're on the lookout for little exclamation points for the rabbits out here. We're in the middle of a hunting zone. The game should be spawning them in. So hopefully we find some pretty quickly here. Okay, so I've been running around the circle for a little while and I've yet to spot a single rabbit. I think I might have underestimated not having the health bars, but if there is a rabbit close, we should see it startle and see an exclamation point up here. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get it done with that feature. We do have to get pretty close to the rabbits for that to happen, but... We should be able to get it done. Okay. Got our first rabbit. Only seven more. There's another one. I feel like it must just be spawning one rabbit at a time because I'm not having much luck finding them. But we'll keep searching, we'll get this done. Oh, there we go. There's our third one. Four. He's a fast one. Five. Six. Oh, I'm getting away. I'm back here. Oh, oh my goodness. Six. Man, oh man. These rabbits do not want to come out to play. While we wait for some rabbits to spawn, I might as well grab a little bit of wheat. Oh. oh we found our seventh rabbit. One more rabbit. There we go. Oh, of course, the last time we need a rabbit, there's two right next to each other. We'll kill this, kill this guy. <laughs> there we go. Rabbit's complete. The reward is coming in. In terms of combat difficulty, of course, that was very easy, but in terms of finding them, that was actually a little... Difficult. So, we can get some Platinum Weave out of this, as well as some Wayfarer Gauntlets, Wayfarer Arms, or we can get another Iron Knife. 
I think we go for the Platinum Weave. We got seven, which is a very good roll on that. Let's take all that. All right. 6,500 experience points. That's what we were really after. And some nice Platinum Weave as well. Let's head back to base, stash our loot, come up with a game plan from there. Alright, we've stashed all of our gear, and we're very close to the next level. Let's see what our quests are looking like. Down to drone, so that one is definitely a defend mission. I do remember doing this one. You find the down drone and you have to defend it against waves of enemies, so I don't think we'll be doing that. We do have another simple hunt mission, which this will probably be rabbits again. I really don't feel like doing rabbits again after that. So I think what we do to finish off this level is just gather some resources. We're a little bit low on wood, so we'll chop down a bunch of trees and see where that gets us. Just like that, we are now level 15. That opens up quite a bit for us. So I'm going to finish up chopping this tree, and we'll take a look at our tech tree, see what we can do at level 15. Alright. So, level 15 in tier 2. The first thing that I definitely want to get are these flint arrows. That'll be huge for us. I do want to get the lantern which means we should also get the cooking station. Then we want the carpenter's bench, which is over here, and the masonry bench, which will allow us to start making stone buildings. Then I could potentially get the bed, but I don't really need it. Maybe I'll, I'll just get the full advanced stoning, stone building set. And then I could also go for the leather armor. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but we'll, we'll consider it maybe a little bit further down the line. But for now, I think those are the main things I want. I could also go for the pot belly stove, start getting some better food. Let's go ahead and get the herbalism bench and our health enhancement tonics. The antibiotic tonics, or rather, would this be, yes, this removes pneumonia. We'll go ahead and grab that too. And then, I think that's pretty much everything we need for the time being. So I'll save these points for now, and then if we need anything else down the line, we'll go ahead and pick it up. But for now, let's get that carpenter's bench going we'll get a lantern which means we should also make the kitchen bench so let's see what we need here cooking station is iron stone we have that so we'll craft up the cooking station herbalism bench and the masonry bench is going to require a lot of iron nails the lantern is going to be epoxy and animal fat so do we have any uncooked meat? We have three. That's only three animal fat. Let's get this down. We also are probably going to need to expand our base a little bit here pretty soon. Let's get this animal fat going. The carpenter's bench is 120 nails and 12 ropes. So I know we have a few ropes here. We have 31. And then iron nails or copper nails rather 120 so we can need quite a bit of this copper turned into nails here okay there's our 120 nails get this carpentry bench we have our carpenter's bench down that's nice and then let's get some let's get a hundred this going. We're going to need it. Deploy 
this. We are very limited on space right now. We'll just stick it right here for, for now. Health enhancement requires flower, yeast, tree sap, and lilies. So maybe we go on a little gathering mission after this. <clears throat> One of the big things that I want to do right now is craft up some flint arrows. We have been waiting on those. Let's get sticks, leather. We're going to need 50 leather. That's going to be a ton of arrows, but we're going to use them. Craft. What are we short on here? Sticks. Quite a few sticks. 50. Maybe we do a little bit less than that. Let's do... Um, let's do 100 arrows. We'll leave the stone ones. We don't need those any longer. We have our 100 flint arrows. That is going to be fantastic. We'll switch over to flint here. No longer need our stone arrows. That is quite an upgrade for us there. So very happy about that. Let's take the rest of our resources in here. And then let's wait out the storm. which is why we've been saving all these bones. We need to learn the recipe for crushed bone. Okay. Let's do a hundred of these for now. Turn all that into epoxy. Alright. It's 25 epoxies. We'll go ahead and turn the rest of these bones into crush bone as well. That's enough epoxy for the lantern. What else did we need? We needed eight iron ingots. We definitely have that. All right, we have our lantern. That is big. It's gonna be a huge improvement from the simple torch last much longer. It's a little bit brighter. But we can just use our light whenever we want now. Alright, it seems that the storm is pretty much over. We'll check on our repairs here. Get everything up to max health again. So all that crushed bone is just about done processing, and we'll just make as many epoxies as we can out of that. All right, and I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. I certainly know that I am. Um, I think our goal for this map is pretty much going to be reach tier 3, reach level 20, get as much gear as we can, sort of researched and ready to go and then we will move on to our main map of choice prometheus we'll be playing hard mode on prometheus as well and i think my goal will be to complete the entire quest line on that map from start to finish and i am very much looking forward to that so maybe one or two more episodes here on olympus get this character off the ground get this little base up and running and then we will move on to our main location so thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.